hello all uh, welcome back to free engineering school today we are going to discuss about uh, non linear static analysis uh, agenda is non linear static analysis brief introduction and uh, what are the types of non linearity and uh, abacus card for uh, non linear static analysis so the non linear static analysis uh, in its simple definition uh, the load is constant throughout the analysis as i discussed in the linear static analysis uh, but here we will consider the material nonlinearity, geometric nonlinearity and contact nonlinearity. So we will just uh, dig into a little deeper with the nonlinear, uh, nonlinearity. Uh, what are the types of nonlinearity? There are mainly three types, material nonlinearity, geometric nonlinearity and uh, contact nonlinearity. So what does uh, material nonlinearity? So if you see the graph here, uh, the stress strain uh, standardized stress strain graph for uh, the steel component. If you see from the point zero to the yield strength, there is a straight line. So it means that whatever the load you apply within this range, the component will uh, regain its original position once you remove the load. Post this, if you apply extended the loads or if you increase the load, then it will the material uh, start yielding so that it will start elongating whenever you, you remove the load it will not come to its original state so it will have some uh, part of uh, plastic strain if you see from yield uh, starting yield to ultimate there will be a strain hardening the component will have a some sort of uh, plastic plasticity in this post that uh, it will try to uh, fracture uh, it is going to fail so in the material nonlinearity in the Nonlinear static analysis will consider uh, the yield strength and ultimate strength with respect to the percentage change in elongation. So, uh, as the name definition, uh, material exhibits nonlinear behavior as the load increases. As I said here, if you increase the load, it will try to uh, uh, make a plasticization in this reason. So, for example, we can take a plasticity uh, as I discussed. This is a plasticity reason we can consider and hyper elasticity material and creep will also comes under uh, material property, but sorry, material nonlinearity. So, coming to geometric nonlinearity, as the definition says, the direction or a distribution and size of the load varies with respect to displacement or rotation as it increases. See, uh, for example, there is a uh, fish stick which is uh, very uh, largely deformed when we are uh, fishing it. So, as it indicates, it is largely deformed. So, this geometry is uh, considered to be a uh, geometric nonlinearity as the by its uh, changing its uh, original uh, shape. So, for example, we can consider the large deflection problems or large rotational problems which are coming under uh, the components. We can say it as a geometric nonlinearity. So, coming to contact nonlinearity, uh, the stiffness uh, it changes as load transfers between the two assembly co assembled components, which tends to cause a nonlinear uh, contacts. So, suppose if you see in this diagram, uh, there is a tooth. Uh, contact uh, coming into contact while rotating as the component as the gear rotates one side it is contact coming in contact and another side is try to open this nonlinearity in the contacts will exhibit the stiffness variation this can also be considered during the analysis in order to see the what is the stress behavior what is the uh, contact pressure which is yielding in the uh, assembled conditions so these are the main uh, three nonlinear material properties which is extensively using in FE analysis. This is a very uh, big consideration to see the material properties or structural behavior uh, under plastic reasons. So coming to a nonlinear uh, static analysis abacus card, uh, it's an input file. Uh, as I discussed in the previous video also, uh, here uh, the main difference is the material nonlinearity consideration and if it uh, it is a complete assembly. It is having uh, more than two uh, components. We can uh, consider even for uh, contact nonlinearity as well. So here I have taken uh, material nonlinearity and contact nonlinearity, uh, which are uh, extensively used uh, for our abacus day-to-day -day activities. Even for uh, geometric nonlinearity, also we can use it. We will take a separate session on that. <clears throat> so. Here, as I discussed, uh, main, mainly there are three portion in the input file. Nodes and elements are uh, uh, 
consider as a part one in the part two there is a very important uh, notes here you can uh, see it clearly there are uh, three parts here sub part section properties material properties and contact properties so in the section properties a solid section which are having a components suppose component one and component two which are having a type of material is a steel and what is the uh, these are the two uh, material components i use so i have written two times then coming to material properties uh, the steel material properties are elastic and plastic as i mentioned in the previous slide uh, we have considered the yield stress and the ultimate stress with respect to percentage change in elongation uh, this uh, is the main uh, material nonlinearity consider uh, in this uh, simulation so along with that i have considered the contact there is a contact between the component 1 and component 2 this 1000 kil 1000 newton load will transfer from component 1 to component 2 so there is a contact when it uh, uh, establish the contact the load will uh, the load path will transfer from one to uh, uh, point to uh, component one to component two so uh, to establish the co contact uh, between these two components we need to uh, understand the what is the friction uh, to be applied so since i have taken uh, steel properties uh, generalized steel property will use a friction as a point two this is the standard one you can use it uh, based on your uh, problem definition so along with that we need to consider the contact pair <clears throat> so uh, the this the, the the code is a star contact so along with uh, definition of uh, uh, friction so here uh, the type of contact is surface to surface contact this is a two surface to surface contact uh, is established here with respect to a small sliding we are allowing only small sliding uh, not a final sliding there are uh, different parameters which are going to be detailed uh, discussed in the abacus uh, course so here just you uh, remember what are the key uh, factor to be considered in nonlinear static analysis so coming to step uh, it is the same uh, nonlinear static analysis uh, will give uh, initial uh, increment and final uh, time step so these are the standardized parameters you can use it with respect to your loading conditions and boundary conditions i have given a constraint in the bottom side and i am applying a load of 1000 newton in the from the top so this is the parameters we can use it uh, with respect to uh, xyz coordinates and we can uh, uh, output the total force this uh, displacements and uh, under the element output we can take a plastic strain since uh, we are extracting the plastic stain because we have a non-linearity material so we need to see the what is the plastic uh, uh, strain is exhibiting in this problem and uh, the stress uh, with respect to all the components level we can extract the stress <coughs> so major outputs are uh, stress displacement and uh, reaction forces which are uh, already mentioned in this key uh, key uh, abacus keys so uh, this is all about uh, the non-linear static analysis uh, how it works and what are the different non-linearities and uh, with respect to the uh, input file uh, for abacus so you can go through it if you have any doubts uh, please contact me or uh, comment in the box so we'll discuss in later videos thank you have a good day